Hello everyone, this is Bethany Reyes. I am Green Status Presenter with Unique and Jen asked me to hop on here. Actually, she asked me last week to hop on here and share a little bit of um, insight of what I've been doing recently and it's still new to me. I know there's probably other women on our team that are freaking amazing at this, but I wanted to hop on because she asked me to. So I am in no means a professional, but I've realized a few things that have helped me be successful with this. So I wanted to share with you guys. So what I'm talking about um, right now is I'm gonna be um, talking about, um, okay. What I'm talking about is uh, live videos and how I got so many views on my live videos and what you can do to get uh, bigger viewers and also to get people you've never met on your live videos, okay? So here are, hold on a second. I'm writing down, okay, so I have a few tips for you guys. When you guys hop on, say hello so I know who's here. I'm just gonna invite a few people. Um, doo, 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 doo. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm just going to invite a few people. Hopefully I'm in the right group. I think I am. Okay, so when you guys hop on, say hello so I know I'm in the right group. <laughs> Looks like these are all people that are in Follow Your Arrow. All right, so I'm just going to invite some people, and then whoever hops on, hops on. At least I'll hopefully talk to one person. Okay. All right. Okay, so here is what happened. Um, the last two weeks or so, when I go live, I've been getting probably triple the count of viewers I've had before. So I used to go live on my personal Facebook wall, and I realized that when I went live on my personal Facebook wall, I was getting anywhere between 500 to 1,000 people viewing my Facebook videos. Um, and so I just switched to my Facebook business page. The reason why is because, you know, when we had that incentive for us to earn the um, cash and sweets, the people that sold the most that month, those people, they were selling from their Facebook business page and they had thousands of people that would watch them live. And so when I noticed that they were doing their live videos on their business pages and they had thousands of viewers, I was like, okay, I need to change to my business page. Obviously there's something in those business pages that is different from a personal page. So I went in, um, I decided to start posting more regularly in my business page. Before, I didn't even think about business page. You know, it was just like one extra thing today. We have our personal Facebook, we have our VIP group, we have our Instagram, um, and so it just seemed like a lot of work. So anyways, I um, started posting them in my um, business page, and last week I had uh, 16,000 people watch one of my videos, and I was like, what? Hi, Beth. I'm so excited to see you soon. So I had 16,000 people watch one of my videos from my business page, a live video. And um, there was like 450 people watching me at one time talking about like peeing in my pants while I was doing my makeup. Like, hopefully I don't like stumble on my words. So this is what I did, okay? Because obviously I know all of you guys want more viewers, right? You're probably doing your live videos and you're like, no one's watching, I only get like 500 or less than 1,000. Um, and we want to grow that. So here are some things that you can do to grow your viewers. First and foremost, I like to do things in numbers. So you like, you, if it's a note taker, I'm very organized. So if you're a note taker, I like to do it in numbers. So first thing that you need to do is you need to start going live on your on your Facebook business page and not your personal page. You need to start going live on your Facebook business page. I know people say that the Facebook business page, the algorithm's all messed up, but it's not, okay? Facebook business page, one thing that I've realized from switching to my Facebook business page is I've attracted people that I wouldn't have attracted otherwise and I've actually attracted people from other countries that I wouldn't have done with my personal Facebook wall. And so I've attracted people in Australia, someone just asked me today if we sell to Sydney. So it's cool, I, I, I meet more people. Oh, thank you Beth. Okay, so that's the first thing, is you wanna start going live on your personal face, on your, blah, 
on your business page, your Facebook business page. And I go live, you guys, like Monday through Thursday at least. So I'm going live like four to five times a week. And that really has bumped my paycheck, okay? So you, <laughs> you need to go live. That's where the money's at. Um, so that's the first thing. Go live in your um, Facebook business page. Num uh, number two, the next thing that I do, thank you for the hearts, you guys. Um, so here is what I do. A lot of people I've noticed, they just go live and they say like, get ready with me or look at these new lippies. And here's the thing. It's awesome that you guys are going live, but a lot of times I don't hop on someone's live video because I have no idea what to expect. Okay. If they say get ready with me, I'm like, okay, well, why do I want to watch that? Why am I going to waste an hour of my time watching you? So here's the thing is I post what I'm going to do before I do it. So not a picture of me, but I find pictures on Pinterest of looks that I'm going to recreate with unique products. And that really draws people in and gets them excited. So you want to create expectation of what you're going to do. So one way to do that is every day before I go live, I post two looks, A or B. And I put A and B or one or two on the picture so people know to vote. And I have people vote. I had like over 100 people vote on the pictures today um, of what look they wanted me to do. People love to give their opinion. And we know that we're supposed to do highly interactive posts on our personal Facebook wall all the time, right? Well, why don't we do the same thing with our business page? So what I do is I post two pictures for them to vote on a look. And I share that post to my personal wall. So I post it first on my business page and then I, I share it to my uh, personal page. And so I get votes on both. I get votes on my business page and I get votes on my personal page from that shared post. And guess what? That still is boosting up my business page algorithm as well because they're still commenting on something that was shared. So post looks so that you create anticipation. People get excited. Some people hop on my lives just because they saw what I was going to do. So Saturday night, you're welcome, Kelsey. Saturday night, I did, you guys, I did a cheetah look. I did like a leopard cheetah face makeup and I posted two looks for people to vote on and people were kind of excited, you know, I had people vote on it and I think a lot of people hopped on just because they were curious what I was going to do. So think of fun and creative looks to draw people in. So that would be my second thing is create anticipation and expectation with what you're going to do. Number two. Um, also, it's really great. Here's the thing, you guys. When you start to recreate looks, you're going to push yourself outside of your comfort zone and you're going to become a better makeup artist. I started going live and I started doing these looks and they scare me. <laughs> they scare me. I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do this. And I've pushed myself and I've become better at my makeup because I've done looks I would have never done otherwise because I would have been too f afraid to try them. But now I've tried them because I do these live videos and they vote for it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try my best and here we go. Okay. So number one, you want to do it on your um, Facebook business page. Number two, create anticipation. Always tell them what time and give them looks to vote on because when people vote, then there's that anticipation and expectation. Number three is consistency. Regardless if you go live one day a week or every day a week, it needs to be the same time. Okay. It's, you don't want to be random and you don't want to do it like one day at 12 o'clock, one day at five o'clock, one day at seven o'clock. If you do it, even if it's just one day a week, every, every day of that week, one day, let's say, okay, I'm going to do it Thursday nights. At least do it every Thursday night. Okay. <laughs> so I started doing my videos. Originally it was at eight o'clock and I switched it up to nine o'clock since I felt like more people could tune in. So I do it every time I do it is nine o'clock. So people can expect and know what time to tune in. Okay. So consistently doing it the same day, same time. Okay, so that is going to help people know when to watch you. Hello, everyone. Okay, so that's going to help people know when to tune in. Here is something that I learned from Lisa Dagan. Um, I asked her because she was going live and getting tons of viewers. I'm like, what are you doing to get all of these viewers? And first of all, she was just telling me, you got to do it consistently. Here's another thing, you guys, is I, you do... Uh, you can do a giveaway in your VIP group. 
So I started doing this on a weekly basis. I give something away every single week in my VIP group um, for people just sharing. So I do, uh, I find out all the people who shared and then I draw one winner from the people that shared and give something away. So, okay, so let me see. I don't have it in front of me. I, I have new gifts that I just bought, but every gift that I get is less than $5. So I go to Marshall's and I buy like little makeup things. Like here's an idea. Um, I know Lisa talked about this too. It's a makeup rush cleaner. You can get it from like Marshall's or Burlington, $5. So I look for gifts that are less than $5 so that I'm not spending a lot of money um, on my giveaways. You could even give away a sample every week. If you can't afford something, give away a sample. Those are $2.50. So I give that away. Do you guys want to see my giveaways? Do you want me to show you what I'm giving away this month? If you guys want, I can go grab it. Tell me yes or no if you want to see my giveaway ideas. Um, okay. So, yes? Okay, I got one yes that wants to see the giveaways. Kendra! Kendra, you already heard me talk about this. Okay, let me grab it. It's oh, oh, I'm wearing my convention dress, you guys. I did my convention makeup tonight for my live video. One second. One second, one second. All right. Here we go. Yes, they're usually always something that do with um, makeup or beauty. All right. So this one I think was like, what? This one was $5. Okay, so look at that pretty. It's like a mermaid brush. Got it from Marshalls. $5. It says it right there. $5. So got that. This uh, little makeup brush. Hello, gorgeous. This was $3. Makeup brush cleaner. This one was, I don't see the price, but I think it was less than $5. I got this from Walmart. It's like a lip mask. This was like $2.50 or something. And then this makeup bag, okay, less, or maybe it was $5. Yeah. So all those. And then if I have a unique product, I might throw in a unique product every now and then. So, that is like my treasure chest. But like I said, everything is like less than $5. Um, and it's totally worth it in my, in my uh, personal opinion because I get more viewers and I meet more people by people sharing it. So, I usually get about 50 shares on my videos now, at least. Um, so, here's what, what happens is you got to start somewhere, okay? Obviously, when you first start talking about giveaways, you're not going to get 50 shares right away, okay? Because people aren't like going to know about it. You have to create that consistency and show them, hey, every week, so every week I am posting about the giveaway. I'm telling them that the giveaway is going to be this day. Tomorrow I'm going to draw the final names. Make sure you share. Um, and so over, I started going live almost every day other than weekends in February. So that has built the anticipation. People know there's a giveaway now. They know what to expect. Okay, so giveaways in my VIP group. I was doing it like once a month, so like a big giveaway at the end of the month, but now I started doing it on a weekly basis just so that they could constantly hear about it and be have that constant reminder that there's a giveaway for sharing. Okay, so number one is do it on your Facebook business page. Number two is give um, anticipation and expectation by posting what look you're going to do. Number three is be consistent in doing it at the same day, same time, so people know when to expect you. Uh, number four, do giveaways in your VIP group. Uh, so do giveaways in your VIP group to grow that anticipation and, and uh, get people excited. Um, okay. So here's what I do when I'm live, okay, to get the view count up when I'm live. And for this, you might need an assistant. <laughs> I actually got this uh, these tips from a pearl lady. So my pearl girl, she has like 12,000 views all the time, 20,000 views all the time. And these are the tips she gave me. So what I do is I go live. You don't want to do hashtags or a website in your, your post um, because uh, Facebook isn't really favoring that anymore. So if you do your website, uh, my website is hello true beauty dot and then I do a space and then come. So um, 
you don't really want to post your your links or anything like that and if you say share you kind of want to separate it um, because Facebook's weird anyways so <laughs> when I'm live I go live I introduce myself I say hey everyone I do not wait for people to hop on please do not wait for people to hop on it's so boring that is not professional at all you want to start right away and you say hey everyone just like I did with this video I said, hey everyone, my name is Bethany Reyes. I am a Green Setters presenter with Unique. And tonight, I'm so excited. I'm going to do my Masquerade Ball makeup for you guys. I'm going to convention this week and I'm super excited to do this look with you guys. And then I just show them tips and tricks, okay? So after I go live, I share my video to my personal wall and to my VIP group. And my husband shares it to his Facebook wall as well. And then my husband, he hops on my Facebook on his phone and he goes in and he invites all of my friends. He just goes in for like an hour or two hours just inviting everyone. Because when you're on your Facebook business page, there's no option to invite yourself, like do the inviting yourself. So he goes on his separate device and he logs into my Facebook and he invites my friends through that. Um, so he just sits there and invites people over and over and over again. Okay, so that's one thing. <laughs> and then um, you can actually pin your, your website in the comments. So I have him comment with my website and I pin it. Um, then also another thing I do to kind of boost up my algorithm with my video is I ask questions all the time. Not only do I offer information and let them know what I'm doing, but I let them choose what they want to see. Like tonight, I went through three different lip looks because I was asking them what lip look they wanted. We went through stellar, we went through stoic, we went through sizzling. Um, and then like, for example, I got some of the, um, let me show you guys, luminizers, okay? And I showed them the luminizers and I said, which color do you guys wanna see? Do you wanna see iridescent? Do you wanna see benevolent? And when you ask questions, and they comment that boosts the algorithm okay you get more comments on it also it gives them the chance to kind of see what they would like best they're like oh you know what I do like that color illuminizer oh that is really pretty so giving them kind of an opinion um, in what you do and what you put on your face people love it um, I ask them all the time do you want me to do the brow palette tonight or do you want me to do the brow liner do you guys want me to do this palette or this palette of course, if I'm doing a certain look, then there's not really much I can do, um, but I can still ask um, opinions and questions. So, let's review. You're going to go live on your Facebook, uh, per, uh, Facebook business page. You're going to post different looks and let people know what kind of look you're going to recreate so they have that expectation, anticipation. Number three, um, you're going to do go live consistently at the same day, same time. Number four, do giveaways in your VIP group. Number five, have an assistant invite people for you and share the video and post uh, your link in the comments so you can pin it. And number six, ask questions. Get their opinion so you can um, boost the algorithm with that. I love to ask when people stop hop start hopping on. I love to ask where they're from. Okay, now here is the secret. You guys want to know the secret with Facebook business page? I just realized this and I had no idea that Facebook did this. You probably don't know, so you want to listen. With your Facebook business page, after you go live one hour, they start boosting it for you. Facebook starts boosting my, my uh, live video and they start putting it into the feed, the live video feed. So when people go to video feeds, people that aren't my friends, they can see me pop up in there and I've had people join me on my video just by seeing me in their feed that aren't my friends, people from other countries, okay? So what after you go live for one hour, so I try to make my lives really long, <laughs> try to make my lives almost two hours. So when I go live for over an hour, that's when I all of a sudden, it goes from my 40 to 50 customers to 100, 200, 300 people watching me because um, Facebook has now put it into their the video feed and some people can hop on. Okay, so that is the secret. Now, okay, don't expect that to happen if you have never gone live before, you don't have any audience, you don't have any customers hopping on. Of course, 
my customers hop on and I have my customers that are watching me for an hour communicating with me sharing it so it's more likely to show up in the video feed because I already have a little bit of an audience and then I double or triple it with the Facebook um, after an hour so any questions about that about those things any questions any questions my husband's gonna hate me because I'm still working. <laughs> Any questions? I'm gonna hop off here. I hope this helped you guys. Um, just start doing it, okay? <laughs> That's the thing, just start doing it. You gotta start somewhere. Your makeup tips and your makeup techniques will get better as you do it. Your viewers will get um, more as you do it. You'll, you'll see more people. No, your business page is a business page, not a VIP group. It's a public Facebook business page. I just do my makeup very slowly and I talk. I talk and I ask opinions and I have a conversation so yeah I try to go very slow and very detailed in what I'm doing explaining it yeah yeah it, it, it it's it's a talent going live that long because I'm very quick with my makeup I could do this look in 40 minutes or less <laughs> but it doesn't really work for Facebook live gotta go live really long so that's that's the only trick I've found a VIP group is in a group a Facebook business page is a page you'll look on your Facebook and you'll see there's a group and there's a page option a VIP is in a group ask your sponsor message your sponsor and they'll know how to point you in the right direction as far as creating a group and creating a business page those are completely different you're welcome, Jessica. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I will... Jen! I just did my whole little spiel. So, this is my masquerade makeup. I'm not sure I'm going to wear my mask because I feel like it takes away... I don't know what you guys think. Do you think I should wear my mask or do you feel like it's going to take it away? take away from the makeup? You're so welcome, everyone. Make sure to share this with your teams or anyone that's interested in going live. I just learned, you know, a lot of this in the last two weeks or so um, from going live on my business page, and it just made a really huge difference. So um, build that uh, the audience. Do it consistently. Thank you, Stacy. It's from Italy. You can see the little flag, but I'm not so sure. I'm like, does it take away from my makeup? <sighs> No, it does not. In my VIP group, I do a lot more giveaways and specials. You too, Stacy. I'm so excited to meet everyone. It's going to be so much fun. Conventions first. Oh, okay. Well, you guys think I should still do the math? All right. I'll bring it. I'll bring it for sure. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, like I said, share this um, if anyone could benefit from it. That's all I've learned recently, but I have been going live ever since February, you know, consistently, almost every day. Um, have fun with it. It's a lot of fun. You'll find yourself grow a lot and meet a lot of new people, and um, people will start taking you more seriously, too. I feel like a lot of people trust me as a makeup girl because they, they see my skills and they see my tips and tricks, and they now trust me that I know what I'm doing. So a lot more people have come around to me um, that in the beginning were kind of hesitant. Now they kind of see what I do and they're like, oh, okay, she's the real deal. I believe in her. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great evening. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.